Oh guys, it's raining and I was out. So obviously I just got back home and it's drizzling very, very lightly and I didn't put up the panel. So let's go put it up real quick. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are just gonna do an update on all of our plants that we have growing outside. So stick around. Okay, so since the last video, I think I mentioned there that I was going to be starting a job on Monday and I'm going to be working on a chicken farm. So today is Sunday and I'm starting work tomorrow and obviously this is the reason why I have not been posting every single day because simply I've had to get all my paperwork together and you know obviously read through every, everything and work everything out but hopefully we will, we, will be, we'll, we will be getting our schedule back a little bit better so we can continue posting every single week and and yeah, as I said, I wanted to show you guys our collection, but before I show you that, I just wanna show you guys some of these funny things that have happened to me over the past couple of days inside of, you know, the house and, you know, just random stuff that I've been doing. Okay guys, so we have had mold on the roof. This is back things. We had mold, well, we thought we had mold. So we got mold care and we sprayed it and I had my goggles on and it was very ratchet. Anyway, it's not mold, it's dead bugs because obviously the roof got wet when we shower and the bugs stick and they can't get off and then they die and then the mold forms on the bugs so we, we got some mold spray to kill them If you guys ever think that your neighbours are mopping their roofs or vacuuming their roofs It's, it's true! It's true It happens oh. It literally happens <laughs> I had a droplet of this <laughs> liquid <laughs> that's corrosive and they say you wear iron protection Mask, long gloves, protective clothing, <laughs> closed shoes, make sure that you wear a gum guard, all these different things. So obviously I did nothing of that. And I was wiping down the roof and I dropped it landed right next to my eye and I was like, okay, I get the goggles again. It sucks being short. Alright, uh, I'm only six foot, but this is difficult. Hey, it's pretty f***ing to eh? Yeah, it is. I'm done. Now I'm not doing this anymore. I need to add like four times. So this milk is off. And she's been crying. So I told her not to cry about spoiled milk. But she's been drinking this for 12 days. <laughs> Yo, the only reason why she noticed was because she, she saw chunks. If she didn't see chunks, she would still drink it. It doesn't even smell that bad. Don't show them out dirty sink. It doesn't even look that chunky. It looks like normal milk. A little bit thick. We just went and we got us some more milk so that you can have a coffee. What are you doing? Uh, 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 uh. That's my milk, you d The milk actually doesn't taste that good. I don't like it like this. What's the date? Today is the... 18th. I have... It's expired, Court. It's not! Oh, I looked at the date. Look it says 20th, 30th. Used by sure? the 30th of June. It doesn't say that Yes, on the it cap. does. You have to look at the cap, Court. The cap doesn't have writing. <laughs> oh my god, you're so annoying. If you guys are interested in seeing more of that, just let me know in the description. Not the description, in the comments below. I'll obviously, you know, post that kind of content for you guys too. But anyway, I want to show you guys the collection. It has been raining for the past three or four days, non-stop. Literally every single day it's been raining. So I've had to put the panel out. But anyway, let's go and spray our Drosophilum seeds and I can show you guys the collection. So as you guys can tell, here are all of our Drosophilum seeds. And as you can also tell, no one has started growing yet. So we just have to continue spraying them every single day. So now let's go check out the rest of the collection. So here are all of our tubers guys, as you can see they've fallen over everywhere on top of each other because of the rain. The rain hits them and then they get heavy and they fall over and then obviously they grow on top of each other which is very messy, very annoying, something I don't like. But I've been thinking of ways to prevent this in the future, you know, like obviously getting something to hold them up. So like a, you know, like a peg in the ground or something. 
yeah I've, I've thought of a couple things so hopefully next season we can do that because i can't remove them now they're stuck on each other you pull them apart you break all the traps it's yeah it's a mess but anyway you can now hopefully tell that every single one of our tubers have sprouted here's rupee cola granity cola they come up stolonifera this one right here another one's coming up here's colonnay i really like this colonnay I might have mentioned it before, but I really like the flat laying uh, tuberous drosera. And he has drosera platypoda, two of them over there. And the utricular area, you guys can't see anything because they're so tiny. And I haven't seen any new growth actually from the last time I updated you guys on them. But this is what I really wanted to show you guys. These are obviously all of our other plants in the collection, but check how much they've started to grow. This is just a spatulata, the red pink flower. It's like one of the biggest drosters in the collection right now, it's insane. Nothing in the cystiflora. The rest are about the same. This is Drostra bonata question mark because I'm actually not sure if it is bonata. I identify these guys just by looking at their seeds, so I'm not sure, but it does look like they are bonata babies. Venusta, look how big they're getting. It's insane. Some nice venustas. Same here, Glopripa is just one guy right there in the middle. Most of these guys have grown quite a bit. Natalensis. These are Drostra hilaris. But I think that these are actually both Natalensis because look how similar the traps are. I think I know what happened. These guys' seeds fell into these guys' packets. I think that's what happened. So yeah, I'm gonna have to check these guys out and like weed out the Natalensis and the hilaris and separate them. And hopefully we do actually have some Hilaris. And here's some Alicia's, they're all looking about the same. Cuneofolia, looking about the same, there's one big guy there. Maybe it isn't Cuneofolia. Now I'm just worried that everything is actually not what it actually is, you know. These are our Rotundifolias, but I'm not sure anymore because, as I said, this guy's growing upwards, which is very, very strange. So it may not actually be Rotundifolia because it did come as mixed seeds so yeah trinovas are looking really big here's some true bonatas with its first upright growing trap i mean these fly traps colincia and here are some of our sprouting saracenias you can barely see them quite small and here are some saracenia flowers which are germinating they look really good nice and red traps in the middle and these are our Darlingtonia babies. There's just tons of them. It's insane. And these guys, these are the springtails. They're literally everywhere. Look at this. This is why I don't like springtails. Anyway, check out the Acapensis red variety. Look how big they're getting. Which has been sent off to our two seed winners. Small Alicia's, small Capensis. Check how big these capensis back here are, and these capensis. And this is our Drosser Regi, it's making another new leaf, so he's obviously very, very happy. I should actually fertilize it because it is Sunday, so I'll actually do that with you guys now. Everyone's growing super, super well. These are all the tuberous Drosser. I'm not going to go look at each of them individually because then this will be a really long, quite boring video on that. Yeah, so let me go take these guys inside and we can fertilize them okay guys and here's our regi i just brought it inside hopefully you guys can tell that this plant is making a new leaf oh no i can barely tell but i'm not going to get out the, the magnifying glass i will show you guys that on wednesday which is well hopefully on wednesday if i have time not i don't know when i'm working because it's just a casual job so I have to go in tomorrow and see my rust and everything, so I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, let's just give this guy some fertilizer. And there we go, all fertilized up, and now I can continue growing. Now, as I've said, the reason why we fertilize these guys while they're still young is because they will starve themselves to death. And that is the case with the other little Drosser Regi we had over here. Obviously, it's completely dead now, the root died. So we had two sprouts come up 
on this side, they both died. At least this one is okay. This is look, looking really, really good. It has a new leaf and is developing another new leaf. So hopefully soon this guy will be, you know, pretty big and it can start catching its own food and, you know, growing really, really well. So yeah, if you guys want to see that, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can actually see, you know, our plants growing up with us and developing. So you don't miss any of the updates. So obviously I have the little Drosera Regia over here who becomes one of the biggest Drosseras or Sundews in the world. So yeah, obviously I can't wait for these guys to get really, really big. Okay guys, so yeah, as I said, tomorrow is my first day of work. I'm very, very nervous because I have worked, I've worked for two different people before, once in South Africa and once in the UK. And it was literally like some of the worst experiences I've ever had in my life. In South Africa, it was actually a little bit better than in the UK, but I was working for about, what, $15 for eight hours. And, and that was when I was working at a music sh shop. I was a drum teacher. So I was te teaching kids and people how to play the drums and stuff. It wasn't the best. It was quite annoying to get paid so little. And also just, you know, teaching kids and <laughs> teaching children is, is very, very difficult. It's very tough as obviously many people know. If you are a teacher, you know exactly what I mean. Um, anyway, and then I worked in the UK. I worked in a in a warehouse, like picking up really heavy stuff. And then, like, imagine picking up a, like a twenty kilogram bag, which is forty five pounds for the Americans. Picking it up, lifting it up to to where your waist is, scanning it, and then putting it back down on a trolley right next to you. So that's what I had to do. I was working in a in a wholesale warehouse, obviously getting paid the minimum wage there, and it really messed up my back. Obviously. You know, you have to pick up these heavy things non-stop for minimum eight hours a day. And I did that for, what, two months? And I hated it so much. It wasn't so much the work, but the environment that you're working in. Like, we were constantly get told that if you do anything wrong, you're going to get fired immediately. If we talk to anyone, we'll get fired. If you do anything other than what we're supposed to do, we'll get fired. If you just finish with a customer and there's no other customers, and if you stand there and take a breather, you'll get fired. If you wear the wrong shoes, you'll get fired. <laughs> you know, just all of this rubbish. It was, it was honestly very emotionally draining and obviously physically draining too, and it really, really sucked. So yeah, obviously the work experiences that I've had so far, like have really, really sucked. And obviously I'm very nervous to go do this job because I'm not sure what the work environment will be like. Obviously this is the first you know type of job where I'm not gonna be teaching someone so interacting with children or interacting with people in retail because obviously if you guys are teachers or work in retail you understand how difficult those type of jobs are and how sucky they are as well so yeah working on a farm with some chickens uh, hopefully it's, it's going to be better obviously it doesn't fit my you know my profession which is an animal scientist or a plant scientist or an environmental scientist or a human physiologist because i have degrees in all of those fields so yeah obviously being a chicken farmer and not working in the field is kind of weird but it's part of my visa as i said before so it is very necessary so regardless of the work conditions i want to work on it's very very hard so i can obviously stay here in australia but yeah as i said i'm very very nervous so i hope that you guys enjoy you know listening to my stories and when I come back from work, I might do a video talking about it, telling you guys how it was, what happens. Because at the moment, all I know is that I'm going there seven in the morning, traveling 40 minutes out there and then working with chickens. I don't know what I'm going to do. Do I feed them? Do I water them? All I know is that they need, you know, water, they need grain. You have to change what they're feeding their food apparatus and the watering apparatus, give them feed. <sighs> you know, other than that, I really don't know what else is going to be happening on the farm. So. Yeah, that's very nerve wracking. So yeah, anyway, I'll talk about that again, hopefully in another video. And I'll update you guys more on our plants. So yeah, every Sunday we basically just do this small little updates and we feed out you know, our Drosera Regia because it needs to be fed twice a week. Or else it literally starves itself to death and dies like the other one did. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of an update video. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode, maybe. <laughs> okay, and we're in the car. These are the two winners. One of you lives in Ireland. In Kahlway, and the other one of you guys lives in the USA. Obviously, I want to give away your addresses, but let's go and drop them off at the post office. And there they go, guys. 